What's up guys, my name's Loverfella and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So, if you played this game before, you might realize just by looking at the screen right here, that we're not in a good position. Pretty much everyone in my entire area has died except for two people. And we're in a situation where we're out of power, we're uh, pretty low on oxygen right now, or it's getting worse since we don't have power. And uh, basically everyone's gonna die. And so pretty much this whole entire level is gonna be scrapped. And so today guys, what we're gonna do is unfortunately, or fortunately, if you guys like this series, we're gonna restart with my new knowledge of under an understanding of the game and see how far we can get i kind of get a lot of the early game stuff and some mid to late game stuff i've learned on my own in single player i should probably have checked that all right that's not the best oxygen up there but we're gonna go with it anyway so we're gonna start a little bit less ambitious this time we're not gonna go all out we're not gonna take it as far as we did last time as quickly as we did I think I need to focus on the basics this time. So food, I need to focus on electricity, and I need to focus on not running out of it. Like, basically what happened is my people started going crazy towards the end, and it just started creating a lot of freaking problems for me. I'm not sure what sweep only does. Eh, let's just do sweep only anyway and see what happens. Um, These guys are just going to pick up all this stuff right here, obviously, if you've seen this game before. I don't know. I guess we should go with oxygen first, like a couple oxygen things, Um, just because it's going to be really... Well, no, because I need to have power before this. So we should go with power before oxygen. So I want to make a really, really good power grid this time. One that works a lot more efficiently. Then we got to get a battery and there's no reason to put it far away from the generator as far as I know. So we can just put a little battery right there, connect it, and we'll bring it out to about this area. And the reason I'm bringing it out so far is because I believe we can take our oxygen um, from this guy. Oxygen is going to rise. CO2 is going to fall. So we can put this here. And this is going to pump oxygen up and just kind of clear out the upper area. I've got to be super conscious of how much power I have. In fact, might even want to make like another couple batteries. Well, just one other battery for now. That's probably plenty um, because I'm going to do a little bit of research as quickly as I can to start unlocking some of the better recipes. So as you research things, you get stuff that you kind of need to have. Like if I don't research things, um, I'm not going to be able to unlock new stuff that I need. So I'm focusing on power and on food. Um, let's see. I can go with farming. I guess power regulation could be good to give me the bigger battery. I think that's what we're going to do for now. We'll go with that. Insufficient resources. I don't have enough dirt to research. I'm just saying though, like, why do you need dirt to research that? Oh, I guess if it's farming, you could need dirt. I could see that being a possibility. Fairly certain that these guys, Oxalite, they actually produce oxygen. So we're lucky enough that, oh, I got to make beds too. We're lucky enough that we have some of this like in our starting point. And uh, this is actually full of oxygen down here too, interestingly. Is there more oxalate? There is, a little bit right there, that's why. So as far as I'm concerned, this is an awesome map <clears throat> to spawn on. And we, as we move, you can see this stuff shine. So that means like there's a little bit of metal there. And I'm really not sure what the, the stuff over here does, like this more advanced stuff. So if you guys have played to that point, let me know what you think, if it's, if it's good, if it's worth it. But I'm gonna take this one slower. Like I'm gonna really think out all the decisions that I make to make sure everything works. And I seriously still need dirt. That's really weird. Uh, usually dirt, I got sandstone, oxalite, Man, dirt is not something I normally need more of. As I say, I'm going slow. I'm already like cranking through this. I'm like, let's get this made as quick as we can right now. So the reason I'm doing this is so that they can reach the bottom as we run out. And then someone told me in the last video that if they're close to water, they can use it to make food quicker. So that's a good tip for you. And while we're here, let's go ahead and just tile up this area. I like to tile up these. Oh no, I gotta make a bathroom. I'm sorry, guys. I'm coming at you with the bathroom coming soon. Uh, Utilities. No, it'd be under plumbing, right? Outhouse. I got you guys. Outhouse right there. Make that number one priority. Let's go all hands on the poop deck. That was pretty stupid. All right, guys, let's get this taken care of. Seriously, though, I've been having a lot of freaking fun playing this game. It's freaking awesome. Insufficient algae. Oh, we got to get a little bit of algae, too. Well, I mean, I guess as we get people down here, we'll have to just start digging it out. There's really not a lot of bad oxygen areas around here. Interesting. I mean, over here, obviously, it's pretty bad, but I feel pretty good about our situation. I just need to make sure that I don't like do too much at once. Like last time, dude, I was seriously trying to do everything. I was like, we're going to go hard. We're not going to stop. We're not going to wait. What are you doing? What, what is this? We got stinky oxygen here already. Probably because we have that right there. That's probably why we have it. So airlock that bad boy in there. We don't need to, we don't need no stinky oxygen coming out. Maybe that's a bad way to do things. As an environmental engineer, I would tell you right now, this is a horrible way to do things actually. But this needs to be priority nine. We got a priority nine, all this stuff right here. Bringing these up to nine, all of this. I want that sealed in so we can get rid of that poopy air as quickly as we can. We don't want no poopy air around our base right now. Basic controls, colony management. I don't need no tips. I'm a pro now, boys. Don't you know that? And let's go ahead and just complete our tile run down here just to get a few extra resources. And I believe we can harvest all the plants. So that'll be nice. Might even get, we could turn this into our crop area. We could turn this into where we put all our food. That'll be freaking awesome. So I'm really excited for that. It only requires a food source. All right, awesome. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. Got a lot of stuff being swept up. 
it's good when your people are working hard and we got a new research thing all right let's get the next research so this gives us a bigger battery that's what we want and then the next thing i want is i want the deodorizer this will reduce disease by filtering out polluted oxygen that's been a big problem for me in the past so i'm gonna go for that next now that we have the bigger batteries and so i guess i could get rid of both the tiny batteries and replace it with a big battery i think that'd probably be a worthwhile investment they have perfect access to the water now and it's probably gonna be smart if we like mop up this area a little bit just so they like don't get soaking wet every time they get in the water because like they don't like that for some reason i mean if i was living down here seriously i'd be going on like swimming trips all the time let's get this food cleaned up boys what we're we doing excuse me i'm sorry i didn't mean to burp right there <laughs> so we can put this literally right next to the water and then just add a little bit of power down here and so i'm thinking all this means oh there's a lot of water down here though that's not looking too good all right there's actually pressure damage going on so there's so much pressure underwater it's actually destroying a lot of my tile so i'm thinking let's see let's see no 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 don't destroy all of it but if i get rid of the pressure from just the bottom that might let the water flow out i think the pressure inside like inside here is too much build up so let's get rid of this guy make that our number one priority and now hopefully releasing that is going to reduce the pressure a little bit but i've got like a serious water problem too doesn't look like they're taking damage so i think that it did work which is awesome there's no reason for this to go all the way down anyway so i don't even know why i made it like that honestly um okay so super cold down here we really need to take care of the water um let's see here i guess i could just tile it straight across like this and then just have them sweep up the rest of it that's above it i, I don't know that's like a weird problem normally i don't have water problems but that's coming in hot right now how are we doing we're lacking oxygen okay that's fine we don't have any algae but i think we're getting plenty of oxygen from our oxalite right now which is where to go Did i break it i think i might have broke it okay i think i broke all the oxalite we had a ton of it and i got rid of it all let's get another guy in here real quick let's go with loud sleeper uh narcoleptic that means you can sleep anywhere we will get you down here because we need as much help as we can cleaning all this stuff up let's go girl yeah clean up that dirt we need someone down here getting this tile as quickly as we can all right, I've changed some priorities around. I put a massage table up here because last time I had people go crazy and they would basically start destroying everything around us. So I don't want to have that as an issue. And then I want to get this made very quickly. That way we can have people to start create some food down here. I think I have the resources, right? All right, I think I'm doing pretty good right now. We have two massage tables up here. So people are stressed out. They can go get themselves a little massage. Our power generation is fine. It's not a concern yet. Now the only problem is we don't have enough resources. We don't have enough food. So I think we're starting off a little bit better. This guy's going to need a little bit of dirt to make stuff. So I have a little bit, let's see, you got some algae over here and I still got to get all this taken care of. That's going to flood into our base, so we really don't want to do that. But we can get pretty close to it, I think. Take out at least all that dirt. It's weird that dirt is something I need. And I guess since we're here, this is all sandstone, so there's no real reason not to take out at least a little bit of it. Expand a little bit and get some, let's see. So this area up here is super bad. But I think that's an area I kind of want to get to. But let's not go there yet. I don't want to be overboard. I just need to take it nice and slow. Um, let's go ahead and dig this way a little. Get some more resources that way. And then add a little bit of a path. I'm all about paths, guys. If you didn't know, paths are freaking awesome. Because you just move like 50% quicker. So you're getting everything done like so much quicker. Yo, let's get this stuff harvested now, boys. Okay, we are running into a couple of oxygen problems now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and really there's almost no oxygen down here or something going on. So I think, um, let's see, what's the best move to make? We have an oxygen generator right here, but we're not getting enough algae for it. I don't really want to put another one right beneath it. I don't think I should put them that close together. I'm going to hold off on that one and just hope that we can get this uh, algae over here picked up pretty quick. <laughs> There we go. We got a little bit in there. So let's generate a little more oxygen now. I just like blurred all those words together so freaking quick. But anyway, guys, I really do hope you're enjoying this series because I think it is a freaking blast. I've been having so much fun. Now, this is the stress charts, how stressed people are. Why is there always freaking water in here, too? What's going on with that? Maybe if we add a little lock right here or something, like maybe that'll keep the water over on that side. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, our biggest problem has to be this water right now. I don't know how to get rid of it. I'm really, really hoping that putting this gate in here is going to fix that problem. And then I can just sweep it all up over here. And hopefully I won't have to worry about it, but we're, we're about to find out. Because otherwise, they're going to probably get sick and die from the cold. That seems like something that would happen in this game. If I could guess... Uh-oh, what are they doing? What are they doing? Dirty hands, grimy, soggy feet, sore back, chilly surroundings. They're not happy at all in any way, so that's not good. And we also got to get more dirt again. We still need dirt. Okay, so I've got some priorities changing right now. What I really need is to get some dirt. Once I get dirt... Oh, they all went to sleep. Once I get dirt, though, I can hopefully come down here, start making some microbes, and then I'm hoping they'll start using a little bit of the water, because for some reason, it just keeps flooding in here. I'm not sure if it's, like, leaking in from a block but it's leaking in from the side it almost looks like there's a little splash here so i wonder if that means it's leaking in maybe through the sand or something because i've swept it a lot and it just keeps on getting in here honestly maybe it's best if i just don't go in here anymore just like seal this area off say that's a no-go spot we'll go there at some point later 
I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I need to get this taken care of because there's a lot of dirt up here. There's a lot of algae up here. So once this is all here with the... Oh, man, we got the sand falling down right there. Once this is all taken care of, then we'll have enough dirt to do a lot of things because the dirt's holding us back on research, holding us back pretty much everywhere. And that's weird because normally when I play, dirt is not the limiting factor. Like, why? look at this, man. This area is just awful. It's always got problems going on down here. All right, I think we have finally fixed our issue with the water down here. It's like no longer flooding out. I don't know what was going on, but that took a really long freaking time to fix. Now that that's taken care of, we need a lot of dirt to keep getting, or we need a lot of algae to keep this thing pumping. Our oxygen is not the best right now, but it could be a little bit worse. I think we're going to go ahead and add another algae guy. Um, you know what? I'd really like to put it lower. I wonder if I put it in the water, what happens? That's interesting. Probably, probably not much, but I think we're going to put it a little bit lower, like maybe like over here or something, or maybe right here. Um, and then we can have this pump oxygen through the ceiling. Once we get a little tile that allows oxygen to go through the tile, it's going to be good for us then. So, um, I don't think it's a bad idea to have a couple of these, uh, maybe. Okay. So I got the air deodorizers coming in right now, and these guys are going to take the polluted oxygen and then they're going to turn it into regular oxygen. So right here, you can see this bathroom is making a lot of polluted oxygen. So I'm building one right next to it. It. hopefully that'll take care of it and then i also have one outside here and one down here and one over here it's important to me to have a lot of those because i keep getting people sick and i just want to avoid that as well as i can and let's go ahead with this guy it's not athletic but he's good at construction and digging how can you be good at digging if you're not athletic i don't know but we got another guy coming in oh whoa 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 there's like no oxygen in this area so i guess that's like a be careful of that zone going on right there. That's a little bit of a problem. All right, guys, mistakes were made building. I accidentally flooded a little bit of water into my base. And by a little bit, I mean like a crap ton, and that's not looking good. Empty building, building flooded, but I did just build a shower, so that's pretty cool. Um, but of course, again, we've got to get back here and mop all this water up, which is going to take a serious amount of time. Oh my goodness, I'm so sick of water right now. But on the bright side, at least they're using it to do stuff. Like they're using it to dig and build, so that's good. I mean, there's like a use for the water. And then I want to get up here. It's going to drain a lot of CO2 into our base. Uh, that's not too bad right now. And then I want to harvest all this stuff. Am I going too ambitious again? I feel like I might be. I don't know. We got a lot of water. That's a serious problem. I just really wanted to have a shower. I was like, oh, how cool would that be to have a shower? That could be so clean. And then I just dug one too many squares over into this little liquid area over here. It caused some pretty big issues. So I don't know. They seem to be cleaning it up pretty quick, which is nice. This guy's doing well. What do we have over here? What is this? Polluted ice? Whoa, okay, so that must be a new way to get water. Man, we are actually expanding pretty quick. I was trying to slow it down this time, but it seems like we're seems like we're going, man. We're moving. And then you can see this guy, these guys right here, the air deodorizers are working really well, just soaking in all that disgusting air. So I really don't see a whole lot of bad air in here, which is great. Working on building some new stuff right now, and for some reason, my guy decided that he was gonna run in here. Now he literally has no way out, and I think he actually might drown. Like he actually trapped himself in here. I'm actually like, what the heck, dude? Are you kidding me right now? He's going to have to dig himself out or something. Or if I deconstruct this, maybe I can make a ladder. But like he straight up walked in here, trapped himself in. That was freaking stupid, dude. What are you doing right now, man? All right. So now we have a shower completed and a lavatory or bathroom. I guess lavatory. Is that like a British word for bathroom or something? Maybe that's an American word, English word. I don't know. We got a bathroom though right here. And so this bathroom and the shower are both going to put their dirty water out into this area. So is that maybe a bad idea? Yes, because people might try to drink that in the future. But for now, at least we're a little bit cleaner. And I might be able to do something later that pollutes or cleans the polluted water for us. So I think I've been playing for a long time. This has been a super long episode. But guys, I really do hope you're enjoying this series. I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on what to do now. How I can get ahead and uh, actually I just made a little bit of a food thing. I wanted to get a refrigerator um, down here because this is going to be our new food section. I think right in this area and I'm thinking I can add a, oh, a cooking station. Let's get one of those down here too while we're at it. I wanted to get a couple planter boxes, some stuff to get like food growing in, farm tile. Let's get a farm tile right here and then let's get a planter box right here. I don't know really what it does, but might, might as well get it anyway. So we're going to get this stuff taken care of and this is going to be our food section. It's nice, it's open, it's safe, it's clean. There's water right next to it, so that's not a concern. And then over here, we have a freaking shower and a bathroom, so we don't even really need this thing anymore, which actually, honestly, let's go ahead. I guess we can keep it in case power goes out. It'd be good to have that as a bathroom, as a backup option. So guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep up everything across the map, get all of it cleaned up, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to spread the love.